Viver cross slide table for a small drill press, installation, setup, and first impressions. Today, I'll share my experience adapting the Weaver cross slide table to replace my old aluminum one on a small drill press. This table, marketed as a cross slide table, arrived in a compact package and weighs over 22 pounds. Compared to my previous aluminum model, it's much more robust, which immediately inspires confidence in its durability and reliability. Unboxing and initial preparation. Upon unboxing, it was clear the table required some initial preparation. Like most tools of this kind, it needed to be cleaned and depreserved. This process involves removing factory grease, metal shavings, and any other residue. Skipping this step can lead to jerky movements and operational issues. Adjustments and fine tuning. Next, I focused on fine tuning. This is a critical step for any cross slide table reducing backlash, adjusting the dials, and ensuring smooth operation. Unfortunately, the factory assembly wasn't ideal, so I had to disassemble the table completely, check all components, and adjust them for my specific needs. That said, even high-end models often require similar preparation unless they're premium, hand-assembled tools. So if you purchase a new table or drill press, be prepared to spend some time on this. Adapting the table to my drill press. Since my drill press is quite small, I needed to modify both the table and its mounting. I drilled holes into the base of the table and threaded the platform of my drill press for secure attachment. The result was a compact and stable setup perfectly suited to my needs.
working with the new table. After installing the new cross slide table, I immediately began processing parts for two different projects, which I will discuss in future videos and, if necessary, share the models for. Let's start with the positioning stop. This part was printed using a 3D printer, and its main purpose is to provide convenient and accurate positioning of parts in the vise. Using such a stop, you can easily and quickly fix parts in the desired position, ensuring that the mill, drill, or other tools hit the exact point you need. This is especially useful for repetitive operations, where high precision is required when placing parts. The next project was a small tripod, which I made using carbon fiber tubes. This is an improved version of an old project of mine. The carbon fiber gives the structure the necessary strength and lightness, while the connecting parts were printed on an ultraviolet 3D printer that works with resin. This material is ideal for small parts because it provides the needed precision and durability. In addition, I made several tool holders for lathe cutters. These holders were turned on a lathe from aluminum, but after that they were processed on the new cross slide table using mills and other cutting tools. This processing allowed me to achieve higher precision and improve the functionality of these parts, making them more convenient to use. I'm often asked how I use a drilling stand for milling, and people are often surprised to learn that such a technique is even possible. Actually, the answer is quite simple and is based on the ability to adjust the vertical feed play. The drilling stand has adjustment screws that allow you to reduce or eliminate play in the movement of the axis. To fix the drill at the desired height and secure it in place, I tighten the middle screw more. This makes the stand more stable and helps avoid unnecessary vibrations when milling. Of course, this approach cannot compare to a full milling machine, which has more precise settings and a design specifically intended for milling tasks. However, for small and precise operations, such as processing small parts or parts that don't require high-speed milling, this method is quite justified. The advantage of the drilling stand is that it's compact, easy to adjust, and can be used for various tasks with minimal equipment costs. Still, it's important to keep in mind that this method has its limitations. For example, with heavy loads or tasks requiring high precision, a drilling stand might not perform as effectively as a milling machine. However, for my projects where simplicity and moderate accuracy are required, this approach works quite well. Conclusion 
The Viver Cross Slide Table turned out to be an excellent upgrade for my equipment. While it required additional setup and modifications, I'm very satisfied with the results. The table provides smooth operation, precision, and convenience. In the near future, I'll share more details about the projects completed with this table. I hope my experience proves helpful for anyone considering an upgrade to their workshop.